After a booming New Year's Eve, lawmakers are looking for solutions to Hawaii's illegal fireworks problem. A couple of bills just introduced in the state legislature focus on inspecting shipping containers, hoping to curb the flow before the explosives arrive. Bryce Moore has details. Most fireworks were banned on Oahu in 2011. The booms haven't stopped. I know this only happens once or twice a year. Uh, and what we've seen from New Year's Eve is it doesn't seem like there's a ban, right, with all the illegal aerials going off. So it's pretty amazing the level of um, the concussions. You can feel the concussions as opposed to just hearing them. Senators Brandon Elefante and Carl Rhodes both have bills to increase random inspections on shipping containers at our ports. They both distinguish high and low risk containers. Low risk includes goods delivered to military, state or county agencies, as well as businesses that are in good standing. Searches would be streamlined through the Public Safety Department. Senator Rhodes says a package that arrived at OCCC last December is a unique case. Well, that one's different because it came in the mail. So, I, you know, it's, it's, it's not good. Senator Rhodes says the legislature believes a majority of illegal explosives come through shipping containers. That's why his bill focuses on more inspections, not raising fines. But I would be very surprised if the poundage coming through the mail any, is anything approaching what's coming through the shipping containers. It's not like uh, crystal meth or something where you can bring in $2 million in a, in a UPS package. And these are bigger physically. Elefante's bill does mention raising fines, which are currently up to $2,000 for 25 pounds or less of fireworks or up to $10,000 for more than 25 pounds. Both admit they don't have silver bullets. But this is one way, if this bill were to pass, to curtail efforts of illegal fireworks coming into our shores. I would be surprised if we could get, to get it to zero. Yeah, but just to curb it would help. To curb it is, I'm, I think, I'm confident that we can do that. Bryce Moore, KHON 2 News, working for Hawaii.